You've returned, you sweet creature. <gasps> Do you have the sea foam? Right here. Oh, aren't you good? Please, take my blessing for all your hard work. Now quick, pour the foam on my roots. The sooner I can move, the sooner I can expand my apple care. Did it work? Coming out of the foam, I was so <gasps> fabulous. No, there's too many cuddly creatures that need my help. It keeps me awake at night, just seeing their little beaks and bright eyes. And those noses, those quivering wet noses. <gasps> like you, though I couldn't possibly imagine why. Whenever anyone defies him, he sends one of his raids, and that raid delegates responsibility, as raids tend to do, to Shades. So the warrior that just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Oh, you're telling me. He's hiding in a lair nearby. Until he's defeated, his shades will reappear on this part of the island. Is there ever any good news? Well, the sea foam worked, and uh, I'm able to move my roots. One of them was actually blocking Achilles' leg. I can't help but the other three rays, though, Heracles, Atalanta, and Odysseus. Oh, you know what they say, bad things come in fours. 
No one says that. No one says that. Tough crowd. What about the root blocking your essence? It's just that some people I care about have been turned into stone. So I'm quite keen to... No. No. Uh, for some reason, that root is still firmly in place. Uh, thank you for your concern. But what matters? The moles will be fed in no time. Let's get to it. Thank you kindly for all your help. Many happy returns. But I... That was strange. I can't keep standing idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful, snarky self before I go crazy! By the gods, where did you come from? Behind you? Does it matter? Don't worry about me. Focus on finding another way to shrivel that root. So what? Saltier, more mythical water? Actually, wait. What about Aphrodite's tears? Didn't she cry at the death of Adonis? They'd be salty and powerful. You really know your stories, kid. Her tears just might work, if you put them directly on the root, blocking off her essence. Now, where did Typhon hide them? You should search the vaults of Tartarus nearby. There are three crystallized tears. All right. We have a plan, then. Please hurry. Until Aphrodite is back to herself, who will I talk to about whatever this is that you're wearing? What's wrong with what I'm wearing? And he's gone. Adonia! Yeah. Ah! The smelliest of festivals, totally appropriate for Adonis. He didn't belong with Aphrodite, she was better than him. Adonia was a celebration of women's self-expression. They would dance on the rooftops, 
bringing scented plants like fennel and cabbage to their parties. In the spirit of Adonia, isn't it Aphrodite's choice who she loves? Not when it's rotten, like that smell. And yet, the women of these villages let it waft from the rooftops, year after year. Maybe the freedom to make the choice is what matters. Phoenix would have to participate in the festival, to open up to Adonia, if the vault itself was to open. That little turn of phrase, and you light up like a pomegranate tree. Oh, I see you, Prometheus. You have your pleasures, and I have mine. 